Hey, what up gang? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna give you my top three tips for someone just starting out learning guitar. I've received, I've done thousands of videos and received just comment after comment. And, and out of all the comments I get, these are the top three things people thank me for in my lessons. The first one is strumming is about timing, not about a strumming pattern. I probably get five to 10 comments a day of someone thanking me it's instead of going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. How they were originally taught with a strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. It sounds way too choppy and has you thinking all crazy ways. You don't know whether it goes slow or fast or whatever. Strumming is about timing. That's the top advice. So it's one, two. I had no strumming pattern. It's all about keeping a rhythm, using that right hand like a drum, and keeping that timing. That's the top piece of advice I give all the time. Strumming is about timing, not about a strumming pattern. The second top advice I give is master four chords before you try to get all fancy with learning some big, huge chord bass. If you're new to my lessons or if you've seen them a while, you understand most of the songs I teach, probably 90% of the songs, involve a G, C, E minor, D. Type in Matt McCoy first four chords to see a close-up lesson how I teach those. But it's just, if you want to really sound like you can play guitar, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glory. Top advice is when you master four chords and get really, really comfortable, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to look at your hands, you get really comfortable going G, C, E minor, D. That's why I teach them that way, very little movement. G, C, E minor, D, G, C. When you master that, you can focus on strumming and... a capo or, or different strumming patterns and play about any song you hear in church or radio or whatever. So I recommend the second thing is really master the G, C, E minor, D chord. You got to do it. Strumming is about timings one. Master four chords. The third and final advice that I give, I get the most positive feedback on, is when you're first learning a song, just do down strums to listen for that timing. So if I'm learning a song, say, Trading My Sorrows, the chords are G, C, B minor, D. Even to this day, even though I've been playing for 15 years or so, I'll start out just down strums. I'm treating my sorrow. I'm treating my pain. I'm So still to this day, no matter how advanced I get or what I know, I will still open the eyes of my heart. Sounds kind of choppy, but I'm listening for that timing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So as you get more and more advanced, you can. Fancy up the strumming pattern, do palm mutes, hammer ons.
But still to this day, when I'm first learning, just do down strums. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the glory of His name. You see, after I get more advanced. I got that timing down, I can do the ups and downs. So forth. So, there's your top three pieces of advice. Got my battery dying here. Um, strumming is about timing, not a strumming pattern. Master four chords, I prefer the G, C, E minor, and D, but you can do you know, other chords if you want. And then, when you're learning songs, once you know the chords and the chord order, just do down strums to listen for that strumming count. Hope this helps you guys. Check out AcousticSelection.com for my DVDs and all my tips on piano, guitar, Bible lessons, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do the best I can there. Also, Snapchat's Guitar Teacher 44. I post all kinds of stuff on there. So, anyway, go check it out. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you.